away from the nearest city There's no lights, all dark But no matter what, you choose to stay here with me The beat's louder and we're showered In drops of wave pulsation here in Ushuaia, Argentina. I got here yesterday. It didn't sunset until maybe, I don't know, I want to say like 9.30 or something. I sat outside my window and I, it's like you can see the ocean right here, right from my window. And it just smells like fresh, like ocean fish. It's really interesting. It's, it's like being on the seaport, but it is a beautiful, you know, area with the mountains and just the, the nature of it all is just so stunning. So I just sat out my window and just enjoyed it. And I did some live views on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm gonna go see this glacier. It's supposed to be really beautiful and I just wanna take a nice long walk. It's about an hour and a half up, hour and a half down. And then when I get down, there's a little cafe so I can get some more work done before embarking on the ship at three o'clock. So yeah, I'm here with Cork Expeditions and I'm really grateful that they've given me the opportunity to come down here and see Antarctica. Everything's so far put together so, so well and everyone's been so nice. And yeah, I'm ready to get going, so let's go. It's actually starting to rain right now. Um, I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time, but I have all my camera equipment and my computer and stuff in here, thank God, for Zero Grid for sending me this bag because it is so useful right now. So I just took some pretty epic photos here. This is amazing. I had to kind of veer off the beaten path to find this little spot. Everyone's kind of hiking up there to the glacier, but I wanted to get the view from the bottom, like of the glacier. I know it's supposed to be a beautiful view of Ushraya, but I really just wanted to like be amidst the mountains, like within them to get the view up. And I think I got a pretty good spot for that. So I had to like trek through forest to get there. <laughs> But it's a great spot. I've just been hanging out here. I have to head out to catch the ship. And so I'm gonna head back now, but it is so peaceful. It's just stunning and I'm super stoked. <laughs> just got in a room I want to share with you how I feel about it I am pretty excited this is the nicest ship room I've ever been in I've never been on a cruise um, but this is really nice here you can see you have like a little vanity area work desk bed looks really comfortable you even have a bathrobe right there I'm, I'm not a good I'm just not good with handling turbulence or waves um so for me having a window was important but i did not request it just because i didn't want to be too annoying but there are windows in here you can see that makes me feel really good in case i need to jump out in case and then i can also kind of see outside and see the penguins and the whales and whatever else so that's awesome thank you cork expeditions this is an amazing room yeah i'm gonna go ahead and read all this stuff right now <laughs> We plan a welcome briefing at five o'clock in the main lounge. Is everybody familiar with a ship? The bow and the stern, port and starboard? That is not correct because I understand that you are here on your vacation, you're happy, you must dictionary defines it as a journey or a voyage for a particular purpose. I think that was pretty self-explanatory with Norton Scholl and Shackleton and those, those gentlemen back in the day. My definition is just a bona fide adventure. <laughs>
guys. Just wanted to update you. I am currently on my morning walk to go to the gym and do a little bit of weights and then I'm gonna have some coffee and the day started for me. So I'm feeling really good. It's nice and sunny. It's a beautiful day out. And um, I'm just hoping the weather stays nice like this. Okay, I just woke up from a nap and looking outside my window and I see Antarctica for the first time. I just want to show you. This is from my window. This is it. Wow, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to capture this moment for you. This is Antarctica and this is the first time. I'm seeing Antarctica, you can see the ice all over there. Ice caps, and then you have land. It is a continent, it is amazing, it is beautiful. So we're headed out soon after lunch to go to on the Zodiacs to go check out Penguin Island. And wow can't believe it we're finally here after two days it's been a great time so far way better than I thought it was gonna be in regards to waves and seasickness I mean I've been totally okay I've been wearing the c-bands and taking boning which um, actually I didn't take anything today I feel fine but I'm actually really excited to head out I'm ready to go I think everyone's pretty much ready to go go head out on the island and explore hey guys so I think I'm ready to go I'm all decked out in the gear I have my tripod in there, my camera. Um, I have one, two, three layers on, plus this jacket, which has an under jacket. And my pants, I have waterproof pants on. Uh, they're very light, they don't have any padding. They're strictly just like a sh waterproof shield pants. And underneath some leggings and two pairs of socks. And I hope I'm warm enough. I only have this one hat. I think I should be okay, but. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I don't know how warm I'll be. I have some liners and some gloves, heavy duty. Um, so hopefully it's hopefully it's good. You know, I mean, I guess we'll just try and see. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> These zodiacs are really sturdy. The you know, haven't been too worried about. They are really seaworthy. There are two paddles here. We have one extra fuel tank there. We have an anchor. We have. pretty funny right now it's like you're hiking Mount Everest if you look at like seriously I don't know how to show you but like it's literally I'm gonna show you people walking hold on you're gonna see how tipsy this boat is right now Guys, it's day three. 
here on the ship. The weather's a lot better than it was yesterday. It's a little bit foggy this morning. There were knots up to 60 miles per hour yesterday morning. Um, rainy, windy, like so windy. I could barely get around the ship twice before practically getting blown off. I had to just stop. I went to the gym. I was getting rolled around. Yeah, it was 60 knots, so um, it became pretty intense when the ship was tilted. Everyone was walking at an angle. It was kind of a fun adventure, but still kind of like, oh God, you know, we're sitting there at breakfast and like everything was falling off the table. It was a quick turnaround with the weather um, yesterday. After that really crazy morning weather, it ended up being a beautiful, warm, sunny day. When we got off the ship, we had the perfect opportunity to see so much. We didn't get to disembark the Zodiacs to actually step foot on Antarctica. Hopefully we'll get to do that before we leave. I think everyone will be pretty bummed out for me to actually step foot on, on Antarctica.
regular plunge just now and yeah it's been a long full day it's nine o'clock at night right now it's still late out and apparently we're heading through the Drake's Passage earlier than anticipated because there's a pretty strong serious storm coming up so we're leaving early to kind of try and avoid it so uh, we have a recap at 9 30 um, I'm having my tea right now probably take a little bit of Dramamine or something before bed I'm not sure if I'm gonna get seasick but everyone's starting to take their pills right now assuming it's gonna be a pretty rocky ride is what they said so chill out while I can and um, hopefully it won't be that bad but it is a Drake passage so you need to be prepared for anything they told us to secure all our things in our room to make sure that if there's a lot of swaying it won't go everywhere right now i'm really tired i kind of feel a little uh meh not great um so yeah i'm just gonna try and get a good night's sleep and then yeah catch up with you guys later ciao i don't know if you guys can see it but it's starting to snow which means the storm is starting most recent forecast just showed that that would be a really poor option and put us in a much worse situation with regard to the weather. And uh, I know that Captain doesn't feel comfortable about us going early in terms of us leaving early, but for our safety, this is the, the right decision. We're sailing out between Anvers and Brabant Island. The point of going now is it means that we avoid some of the bad weather and we're less time in the storm. So um, just to give you a sense, um, I should, let me take a step back, um, there's, there's one storm that's gone through and one of our other ships sailed across, was coming through last night with 11 metre waves plus. So this, by us leaving early, this is not the worst, this is just what's coming through to start with. So we'll sail um, north and then it just becomes more extreme. So we're talking um, on a scale that just goes 50 knots plus, and that would be covering almost um, from the um, from the South Shetlands almost all the way um, to Ushuaia. So by, by going now, we think that overnight that we'll have some moderately rough weather. We should have a, a section which we think will be okay, and then we should get to worse weather again, but we won't put ourselves into this which would be really 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 not a good thing to do because at that point all we would be doing is trying to to not go backwards and not to roll over basically because it wouldn't be safe you should prepare your cabins to make sure there's things not going to roll over make sure everything's stowed well away dr fiona is here and she has some uh, medication if um if you, does anybody need any medication are you all prepped and there will be motion and you need to know that when the ship rolls one way, it will also roll back the other way. And make sure you hold on and use every banister that's here. We've had an incredible trip and it's still an incredible trip. And now we're gonna have an incredible Drake Passage. Isn't that great? If the sky they will go These waves are really big. I mean, I'd say they're about 20, maybe 20 feet right now. We're supposed to get up to 30 to 50. And after our nightly recap, everyone's like, let's go down to the bar and have a drink and, you know, have fun before we go to bed. I think a lot of us were stupid and having a big dinner like I did. I also drank a liter of water this evening as well, like tea, so I'm just not feeling great. So for anyone wondering about the Drake Passage, hopefully this will teach you about what to do and what not to do if you're going to cross it getting to or from Antarctica. They close the portholes which is a pretty big deal. They haven't done that on this trip at all. Ooh, that's a big one. I have both my, um, both my C-bands on and I took some boning over the counter.
we were told by the onboard doctor that the best thing we can do is just lay down. That's what I'm doing right now, but it is like swaying. It's, it's so funny how quickly everyone went downhill fast when you're in this sort of um, extreme weather on the Drake Passage. And it just hit everyone, like everyone's flying all over the room. I mean, I don't know if you can, I mean, this is what it's like swaying right now. The largest part of the storm is now further south, where we once were. So this is around, uh, reached up to 55 knots, wave heights up to about 9.5 meters. That's quite, quite a lot. We are force 10. So we reached force 10 on this ship, on the Drake Passage between 48 and 55 knots of wind. You're in a storm on the Drake Passage. So, but the toast is to absent family and friends. Cheers. 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 Cheers.